Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the 80 tricks of this wedding photography. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. At first I'm making copy, dragging and dropping in a plus sign and then going to the filter and then camera filter. So this one is another plugins of the Photoshop and you know that the blessing plugins for the photo editors. And in this portion, I'll do lots of things over there. Here, I'll make the temperature a little bit of up and then tint, I'll make this one a little bit of up. That means eight and three times like that, like 24, I'll make this one like that. And exposure, I'll make the exposure a little bit up, but highlight, I'll make it a little bit of down. That's good. And then white's a little bit down. So you can match out the value of this that means this one is minus 38 copying this one and then paste over there so this one is just dependency because of if you make the highlight and whites same value it will make another like dimension over there that's good and texture i'll make the texture a little bit up down and according to this that means or you can make this one minus value if you want the smoothness Otherwise, you can make this one plus value if you want the grain or like a sharpened texture over there. And clarity, I'll make this one minus 8. So I'm taking the value from other dependency because of it will make the magical things over there. From here, vibrance, I'll make the vibrance a little bit up down because of in a face. If I don't do that, in a face, you will get extra yellowish, which is not good for the photo that's good now i'm just turning off this and from this portion going to the curves and i want provide here some like dramatic effect just lock over there lock over there over there and make this one a little bit of grammar or dramatic so like that that's fine and detail options if in your photo if you don't mm, want the noise noise reduction a little bit i'll make this one 24 so that the previous value from here that is the 24 that's good and color noise if you want i'll make the same value that is the 24 that's good and now color mixture the most important thing of this tutorial in a saturation i'll make the saturation up red orange and yellow and green from the hue panel i'll make the green like that yeah that's fine and the yellow i'll make the yellowish like that that means the plus value 24 this one is a 72 and that is the three times of these yellowish that means i just made the uh, sequence like that and in this portion i'm making 24 and 24 that's good and like 12 that means the half of 24 and the red i'll make this one 12 that's fine that means i'm making the simultaneous harmony or similarities which is just playing with the numbers the aqua you, you can work with that that means like that so like 48 that's good and blue i'll keep like that so before one and after one now time to add some contrast over there from the basic panel i'll add contrast according to this value i'm copying this and pasting over there that's good now let's see the before and after okay now again we are going to this panel luminance options so i'll make all the value will 12 that means you can write down 12 over there so copying this one ctrl c and ctrl v and then ctrl v Control V, Control V, Control V, and Control V, and Control V. So let's see before and after. That's good. Now, another important part of the tutorial, which is the color grading. From here, we are getting here shadow color, mid tone color, and the highlight color. So these three color will provide like color correction, proper, proper color correction. So at first, the shadow color. In this area, that means the black areas are the shadow 
so at first you have to provide the value i'll provide 12 and then you have to slide this hue hue means which color you want to pick up so i want pick up which color yeah i want to pick up this color that's fine in a shadow portion and now mid tone so less highlighted areas are mentioned by the mid tone i'm here taking the saturation that is 12 because of the percentage of the color and hue is which color will be now i'll pick up a color yeah that's fine and now the highlight in this highlight area which color do you want so in this portion again i'm taking the saturation 12 that means the percentage and you have to find out the proper color over there so this one i think this one is the perfect color that's good our color correction done and now calibrations from here three prim primary colors like a shadow red and green blue so here the red green and blue primary colors and here is the hue which color will be it defines so i'm taking this one minus 12 here i'll take minus 12 and here i'll take plus 12 that's good and here i'll provide like minus 12 so let's see before and after you are getting more dramatic effect in this portion that's good and then i'll press hit ok so for your purpose i'm saving these settings for wedding and saving that in my directory like wedding 2023 i'll provide this xmp file to you for your uses and that's free so don't forget to subscribe to get this type of free preset from my channel thank you and just hit ok so going to the file and going to the place embedded options and here is the light overlay and i'm just making this one bigger and hit ok and after that going to the screen mode and then going to the levels options from here and making it mask from here i'll make the color and contrast everything like that press ctrl or command t you have to select this right press and rasterize the layer after rasterize just make this one overlay light that's good and press ctrl or command t for transform actually it should be a little bit of like that that's good and after that finally we'll go to the photo filter so from here photo filter and pick up the color which is like that that means the yellowish yeah that's good and hit ok and let's see what is changing up by adding this photo filter so before and after you are matching the color with that which is really nice and like sufficient and needful for this photograph so let's see the before one this photo and after one you are getting amazing photo and moreover like that we are going to color look up if you want to make more dramatic feel here is some color loops which is the preset here is the kodak and here is another kodak version kodak and then here is another fuji version if you want this this fuji version or this or if you want to foggy night but i don't prefer like that and fall colors or like that i would suggest to use that and after that i'll blend it up and i'm going to make this one like a soft light and after that i'll make the opacity like that so let's see before and after more dramatic vibe over there and now finally i'm saving these things and after saving that going to the file and going to the save copy as and after that i'll make this one jpeg file 
and giving the name wedding photo that's good and hit ok and after one you're getting total dramatic view over there if you want to change up any sort of area of this so if you want only like that or like that you can turn off and on and you can adjust your lights and everything so thank you so much don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for new notifications and these type of amazing tutorials in future